What's up, y'all? Back at you one more time with a sit down with Mark. This time, man, I interviewed a friend, a classmate, man, a future guy I worked with at NCCU in the athletic department, Calvin Barnes, who is now the production coordinator at NCCU. Smart brother, man, been doing it about seven years from the PG County, Maryland area. Smart dude, learned a lot from him. He taught me some. I'm still learning from him. Hey, man, what I ask y'all to do, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. If anybody wants to interview me, y'all DM me, message me. Let me know. I'm open. Man, I ain't going to hold you long. You know, we didn't stay as pleasant work together at Central. But uh, thank you, man, for your time. I appreciate it. No problem, bro. We're going to jump right into it, man. All right, give me one man. second. Okay. <laughs> Some more workout shortly after this, though. <laughs> well, let me get out of the way. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, man, and how you became the production coordinator at Central. Uh, so first thing, uh, I went to Central in class of 2015, freshman year, fall of 2015. Um, and then once I was there, I was interning with the sports information department where I did video and stuff. I did that from the 2016, about January, till I graduated spring 2019. In the summertime, uh, when I was working an internship with the Wizards and the Mystics, uh, Kyle Serber, the SID that was there, gave me a call and said, you want to come back full time? And I was like, fresh out of graduation. I said, I guess I ain't going to leave. So I've been there and this is coming up my third year working there and I, I love every second of it. That's what's up. Kyle, what are some of your responsibilities as a production coordinator? Uh, so as a production coordinator, some of my things are, uh, you know, being the director and producer for the live events. So the person that's hitting the buttons, changing the camera angles, communicating to the cameras out on the field. That's some of the things I do. Also, I'm the content creator. So any like the videos um, and stuff that you see, like on NCC Athletics, I pretty much have a hand in that or like the intro videos and stuff like that in the arena in-house. And then also we have a sports media production class where we have people who are the camera people. And I kind of help teach Kyle Server with that. Um, you know, showing them different things, giving them little tips and tricks. And then just uh, other than that, just having fun and just being an energy person around the office. That's 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 the biggest thing I take pride in, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, what so – I've, I've, I've worked with you, man. I've seen action. What excites you the most about the position? Um, Honestly, it's just every day. Um, I wake up every day and I always say, you know, I'm thankful for another 24 hours and I don't know what's going to happen in that 24 hours. You know, uh, you know, as anybody can tell you in production, you already know this, Mark, you, it, nothing's ever going to go perfect. You can plan, plan all you want. It's never going to go perfect. So it's just the fact that it's not the same thing every single day. That's pretty much what excites me. Like, it's just not the same thing. Man, tell me about the most successful production you have worked on. <sighs> the most successful production? Oh, wow, man. And we've we've had we've had a lot of good ones. I I really have to think about that. We've had a lot of good ones, but I would if I had to pinpoint one that I'm gonna go ahead and do one that we did a couple years ago pre COVID. We had a um, it was uh in ATC versus A and T. I feel like with the energy of the crowd, we hit everything on the head. We got a lot of great camera shots. The fans was rocking, and everything kind of seemed on point. The uh, A and T game where we won the regular season championship. So I'll probably say that one right there. Um, it, it was just it was just a live event, so I, I'll probably say that one's probably the best show. Everybody was into it, and we won, of course. So, <laughs> <laughs> I feel the A and T Central games is live, man. Mm -hmm, for sure, you already know. <laughs> um, Doc, you've been working in production like you told me three years. Mm -hmm. in your future hit. Uh, right now, so currently, I mean, I don't know what the future holds. You know, I'm still at Central. Um, I always tell people my end goal is to take what I've learned at Central and take it to somewhere else, whether it be a professional team or a different organization. My whole goal is to go somewhere bigger than Central, because I love Central and everything, but go somewhere bigger than Central just so that people can say, you know, what college did you go to? I went to NCCU. I worked at NCCU. Trying to put that on the map and let people know, like, hey, these HBCUs have a lot of talented people to come through there and start giving us a chance, because if somebody sees somebody's name on uh, North Carolina Central and they can remember me because I did so so much good work there, they're like, oh, yeah, that's the uh, school Calvin went to. He did good work. Maybe we can go ahead and take a chance to him. That's, that's what I take pride in, so... Uh, whether it be a sports team or just a big organization, I just want to be able to get out there and put NCC on the map how I can. That's what's up. Doc, for any student wanting to get involved in the media, what advice can you give? 
Uh, just get into it. Um, I'll be honest with you. When you first start off, you're probably not going to get paid. If you get paid when you first start off, that's a blessing. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you were good once you get that. <laughs> but, you know, just, just get at, just to start into it. Like, even if you're in high school now, like, start trying to do stuff if your local high school can do it. Um, you know, there's a lot of different places. And even if you can't do it, like, go to some of these places and just shadow them. You know, just be like, hey, can I come in and just watch how you run the broadcast and the productions and all that stuff? And just be willing to make connections. Um, again, be ready to sacrifice because there's times where, as you already know, you're going to be working 10, 12 hours, you know, in a day. You know, you might miss that day party. You might miss, uh, you know, going out with your friends and stuff like that. But you got to be able to make sacrifices, especially starting out, because getting into this business and breaking through, it's very tough. Like, I always tell people I'm fortunate that I got in and then I graduate and I came and I got in another situation working at a Division One program. That stuff doesn't happen often. Um, so just get after it, man. Make connections and have fun when you do it. <laughs> and embrace the moment, too. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. We got to keep in touch. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. You already know. I appreciate yeah. you coming through, man. Everybody watching the video, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Follow my boy on Instagram, all that stuff, man. He does great work. Oh, yeah. Cal, take care of yourself, man. All right, man. You too, bro. All right, now. Yes, sir.